हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एवर शाइन कोचिंग सेंटर आई एम शाह फैसल सर हियर डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ए वेरी फ्रेश कॉन्सेप्ट फॉर ऑल एस एस एल सी स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास टेंथ सो दिस इज द क्रैश कोर्स वी आर गोइंग टू कंडक्ट फॉर ऑल एस एस एल सी स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ कर्नाटका स्टेट बोर्ड इट्स ए वेरी हैप्पी न्यूज that we are going to start the crash course the target 80 out of 80 marks for the upcoming board exam children one important guidelines so please i just want every one of you need to focus on this area what exactly we are telling so please do not miss any of the points what what are the guidelines of this crash course so this is day 1 of this course before i could commence this class one important guideline i just like to give you those points are very importantly every day we are going to release two papers means two subjects we are doing this crash course for the subjects kannada mathematics science and social so every day what we will be doing is we are going to release two sets of papers i mean like one paper of maths and one paper of social one day and next day tomorrow we are going to release two papers that is related to science and kannada so alternately every day we are releasing two two papers and we are giving sufficient time for you all to focus on these areas are you getting my point every day we are releasing two sets of papers i want you have to copy down these all questions after copying these all questions you have to start practicing these questions and by today evening by today night at any cost you have to complete this session i mean these questions of this session are you getting my point ella makkulige tumba tumba subhashayagalu ivattu naavu mathematics crash course annu start madak hogta idivi idralli naavu prati dina erdu papers kalistha irtivi erdu paper kalistivi for the next 90 days koskara 90 dina goskara naavu prati dina erdu subject rudu questions kalistha irtivi ella questions taavu tumba tumba practice madbeku ivella questions tumba important ಈ ಬರೋದು ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ಗೋಸ್ಕರ ಆದ ಕಾರಣ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ತುಂಬ ಫೋಕಸ್ ಮಾಡಲೇಬೇಕು ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಈ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಇವತ್ತೇ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ವಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ನೌ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಎನಿ ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ಇಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಗಿವನ್ ಬಿಲೋ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ ಅರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಡೌಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇನ್ಶಾಲ್ಲಾ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಯು ದ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವೀಡಿಯೋ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ a lot and you can understand the concept in a clear way if you are finding any problem like difficult or uh, it is very difficult to understand or something you can tell me i'll going to explain you with the logics and shortcuts in a minimum time you can answer that question so i can show you even that logics also got it okay so let's begin with this class are you getting children good now coming back to the next important thing every sunday we will come live and we take one particular chapter in our live class we take one particular chapter of one subject okay in that we will discuss with you all which are the types of questions have already came in the exam which has appeared in the exam okay and also we will focus on the areas from which you can expect one mark carrying questions from which you can carry two mark carrying questions three four five mark carrying questions from that chapter which are the areas you can expect how many marks questions that also we will target and we'll explain you those areas so that it will be still more easy for you to focus those chapters for the particular marks questions so that is the agenda of conducting live classes from evershine coaching center this is the first time we have come out and we are releasing our study materials outside in the public so please utilize this opportunity and also we have succeeded 100% result in our final board exam of from our evershine coaching center consequently we have we have really we have got 100% result in our institute and most of the student have already scored in our institute 100 out of 100 in math science social and kannada so the same thing we are just approaching here for our general public due to this situation okay so we just we want as a social service just we want to help all our student that is the reason we are releasing these videos so please utilize it so that it will be very much effective and benefited for all our students are you getting my point i hope you all can understand and i request you all one more thing 
it's not this is a, this is a video not we are making only for a particular student we are not targeting a single area we want all our sslc board students of the entire karnataka state has to be helpful and useful from these videos so please you request your other friends also to subscribe to our youtube channel and click the bell icon and select all and select all option and update our get our, get the updates of our videos and also this is a platform where you can interact openly okay with us and get the solutions for your doubts so we are going to conduct much more things in this sessions in this type of sessions from evershine coaching center so see children uh, first problem prove that if two triangles are equiangular then their corresponding sides are proportional the same theorem can also be asked for you in the other form i have given the statement here both the statements are same i mean both the questions are same uh, i mean the way of asking questions are different but answer remains same this is one of the very most important theorem once upon a time this question was a very favorite question for the examiner and even this question has asked in the last year supplementary board exam the same theorem has been appeared next question number 2 construction see children i have given a i have given one construction here like construct a triangle of sides 4 cm 5 cm and 6 cm and then a triangle similar to it whose sides are 2 by 3 of the corresponding sides of the first triangle so this is the construction okay from the chapter construction for 3 marks you can get this question for 3 marks are you getting my point again i am repeating this question carries 3 marks i want you need to practice this problem in case if you are not getting in the below description i will give you the link of this constructions so that you can get the updates and you can learn the procedure how to draw this construction in an easiest way got it so this is option a and option b same question i have taken just i have changed the values you can see option a and option b 4 cm 5 cm 6 cm but here i have given 5 6 7 and here i have given the scale scale factor 2 by 3 you can see here i have given the scale factor 7 by 5 so now you can see the difference between these two scale factors that is 2 by 3 7 by 5 you can see here numerator is lesser denominator is bigger here numerator is bigger denominator is lesser can you see the difference yes this is the important thing you need to identify okay in my construction video i have explained you I explained here with the differences between these two problems you can just watch it if you doesn't know and you can solve and here solve graphically for the following pair of linear equations 2x minus y plus 3 equals 0 and 3x minus 5y plus 1 is equals to 0 in this two graph they have to given two equations how to solve these equations also have made the video if you don't know you can watch that video okay you can watch in my playlist you can just go in my channel in playlist you can see graph okay class 10 graph in that i have solved some problems related to this you can see the method how to solve it and you can practice this sum if you know straight away you can solve this question and also i just want to tell you all after solving this all questions and even you can get corrected with your class teachers you can show to your subject teacher and you can ask them to verify whether the answer what you have got is correct or wrong and if you are, if you all friends are combined with each other and if you are solving cross check with your answers okay because all the answers should be same that is the reason next construct a tangent at any point p on a circle of radius 3 cm you have to construct a tangent okay for a circle of radius 3 cm at any point p on it so this is one mark two mark question and graph this carries four mark and here you can see the following distribution given the profit of a shop 5 to 10 10 to 15 15 to 20 has given the class interval and he has given the frequency below and here they are asking us to calculate the mode so you need to calculate the mode of the given data are you getting children for this table you are supposed to calculate the mode if you don't know you can ask me i will help you out how to solve this type of questions got it so you have to solve this question it is one of the very 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 important question for your upcoming board exam in case suppose if only they can interchange these values that's it but procedure formula steps remain same got it only the values can be deferred okay but rest of the steps will remain same and this is one of the 110% sure question for your upcoming board exam you will get definitely one question from this particular topic got it 
and next you can see one problem we have taken here AB CD is a trapezium with AB parallel to DC E and F are the midpoints of the sides AD and BC respectively show that AE by ED is equals to BF by FC so you have to show here LHS is equals to RHS you can solve this problem and children uh, one more important thing I can I just like to tell you that uh, okay after watching this video I want you all have to copy these questions after copying these questions you have to solve these questions after solving you need to practice these all questions by today itself you should not postpone for tomorrow because again tomorrow work will be different so if you follow my words and if you follow my classes every day constantly then definitely believe me you will be one among the topper of your you will be one of the topper one among the topper of your school got it so these all are very straightforward questions and this from these areas 110 percent i can give you the guarantee the questions will come in your final exam so you should not miss any of these questions children and you ask your other friends also by today itself to subscribe and follow my classes each and every day and this video share as much as possible with your all friends so that let they also get benefited from our classes got it let they also get benefited children again i am repeating this share this video as much as possible because this video has to reach for maximum number of students so that even let them also clear their board exam in a very crystal clear manner and scoring very with a very high marks in the upcoming board exam that is what we are wishing here and we are giving the videos only related to the contents which are the facts and which we can believe and which we can expect the questions in the board exam okay next question number seven solve x minus 2y is equals to 0 and 3x plus 4y is equals to 20 you have to solve these two equations children they have not given any method here okay so you can use any of the method but uh, unfortunately you can see in your reduced syllabus pattern according to the reduced syllabus substitution method and cross multiplication method directly they have they have cancelled so hope so you are not going to study that so better you can solve these two equations by using elimination method only so by because even if they have given also definitely we will be using elimination only because that was the very easiest method to solve the equations okay anyhow you can use elimination method to this to solve this problem x minus 2y is equals to 0 and 3x plus 4y is equals to 20 next find the distance between the points 2 comma 3 and 4 comma 1 so you can see you have to use the distance formula to solve these two coordinates or two points next solve x square minus 6x plus 12 is equals to 0 by using formula method you have to use formula method okay quadratic formula method you have to use and you have to solve this equation next find the nature of the roots of the equation 2x square minus 3x plus 5 is equals to 0 you need to find the nature of the root okay and uh, if you are getting any doubt you can see my quadratic equation video i have made a crash course on quadratic equation you take any problem related to formula method how i have solved the problem you can see the steps in my playlist and you can start solving even nature of the roots even this problem also is related to quadratic equation yes children this channel is completely made for free of cost you are not going to pay anything to watch these videos but one important request that this institute is being managed by evershine educational and charitable trust if any students or any parents if they are interested to donate us some fund so you can just donate here for this respective contact number and also phone pay paytm and google pay in case if you are donating any fund for us so it will be very much helpful for us to make still more much videos and to contribute much as we can for the students with respect to education so children i request you all and even my dear parents i request you all to donate as much as you can if you are making any payment through account you can just follow these details and phone pay paytm or google pay number is this and the name will be shown over here over there this name shah faisal you can donate okay the funds as much as you can so it will be very much helpful okay to make us still more number of videos thank you for watching keep watching Wish you all the best of luck. Do well, children. Take care.